my studio. I'm Wendy O'Brien. Thanks for dropping by. I was so excited with the haul that I got for Christmas and nobody understands the excitement over paper or pencils like fellow artists. I've also gotten many requests to share my art hauls with you. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing on my list was paper. The UART 500 sanded paper. The Canson Mi Tente's Touch sanded paper for pastels. I got two cream, one flannel gray and one dark gray. I wanted the different backgrounds for different projects I have and I'm just going to cut them down um, to the size I need. So the next paper I got was the Color Fix Smooth Rainbow Pack. It has all of these colors in it. Sand, rich beige, Australian gray, soft umber, raw sienna, burgundy, aubergine, olive green, burnt umber, terracotta, white clear, deep black, elephant, rose gray, leaf green, dark, fresh gray, deep ultra, storm blue, and blue haze. So I'm super excited to try these for pastels and color pencils and see how they work. Next, I got the UART Premium Sanded Pastel Paper, 12 by 18 inch, 10 sheets, and it is 500 grit. Again, I can always cut them down if I want smaller sheets. My next paper is the Magnani 1404 Portofino. It is round, which I thought was really interesting. I can blame Chrissy Murray from Extras Art for this one. She showed that she got it and I loved the paper. I love that it's round, so it's very different from what I usually use. So I'm excited to try some projects on this. I also got three ampersand pastel boards, 11 by 14 with the color bean sand. I wanted to give these a try. They're actually on like a masonite type board. So I thought these would be really fun to try with pastels as well. Another thing I got, which I'm really super excited about, is this Epson scanner. I just set it up this morning and it works so good it's crazy so I can scan my artwork and the larger pieces I can scan in sections and put together next thing I got was the exacto school pro electric pencil sharpener I have some manual sharpeners but I wanted an electric one as well uh, this does have the flyaway cutter, which prevents over sharpening, so it will stop sharpening once your pencil gets to that point. This one you can also change out the blades when they get worn and no longer sharp. It also has a 10 year warranty, which, yeah, it's a pencil sharpener. You know you're going to need a 10 year warranty. So here's the pencil sharpener. Maybe I'll do a review on pencil sharpeners. I seem to be gathering quite a few really large container for your shavings and there's what the inside workings look like and you can change the size and look they even have a triangle shape so you can change the different sizes for your pencils very cool I also asked for another manual pencil sharpener because the two I have clearly are not enough. I think that's one thing we do is collect pencil sharpeners as well as art supplies. Okay, so we have the Helix desktop sharpener. So this is to attach it to your desk, which I probably will never do because to put it on my desk will be in the way. So yeah, but here is the container and then it has different depths for your pencil so you can change how sharp your pencil ends up being. And this also has an automatic stop for when you get your pencil sharp, you can or when you get your pencil sharp, it will stop automatically. And so I have the Uni Pascos white paint markers. This one here is 0.9 to 
1.3 millimeter and this one here is 0.7 this will be good for some white highlights on some of the artwork next I got the Derwent Chinese white drawing pencil to again add white highlights to some of my color pencil pieces we have these modeling ball tools and then I have these color shapers um, these just have the color shape the plastic nibs on the top and then these ones here these ones here have the color nibs are the shapers on top but then on the bottom they have different size stylus and then this here is actually a drafting tool they use this a lot in drafting and I got it to put masking fluid on I also got this fine line masking fluid pen I got a new Secura electric SE 2000 electric eraser so it comes with the eraser body and batteries and erasers and a spare holder actually there's a couple spare holders so that's very cool next I got the graph gear 1000 premium mechanical pencil set um, it comes with 0.3 millimeter 0.5 millimeter 0.7 millimeter and 0.9 millimeter leads They are color coded and the really cool thing about these as well I was playing with them a little bit yesterday is when you pull this out like this the little nib comes out but then if you push this right here it pops back in it's very cool So it comes with refill leads for all four pencils and then also the eraser refills. And these also, uh, they turn as you write. So every time you pick up your pencil, they turn so you always have a sharp edge when you're writing or drawing or whatever. And then I got a set of really super cheap masking fluid brushes just so that way I don't ruin my good brushes for masking fluid brush -o powders so this is a water soluble medium and I plan on doing a couple things with that I'll do a review on it hopefully sometime in the future I don't know when because I have a lot of stuff already planned we have the Jack Richardson hand glade porcelain palette I want to practice watercolors this year, so I wanted um, a good porcelain palette. So here's the palette out of the box. It has 22 wells, and then this is actually dual purpose. You can use it as a lid, and you can use it as a mixing surface. So super excited to get started on working with watercolors and playing around with that. Next on my list are the Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay inks. So I got set one and set two. And I'm super excited to try these out. I did Inktober this year and had a really good time with it and wanted to try using a bunch of inks. I also got the Bombay pen cleaner for when um, my husband makes my dip pen. I asked him to make one for my birthday, which is coming up. So he got me the pen cleaner as well. So the first book I got is the very big sketchbook with 600 pages. You've probably seen this in the sketchbook challenge where they fill up the entire sketchbook in 30 days. I do want to do that eventually. But I also wanted one for 
um, just regular studies that I'm going to do this year. So I would, I'm hoping to fill up one of these this year for just regular studies. And then I have another one that I already purchased for um, the actual sketchbook challenge. So I'm going to see which one has the better paper because it's a different brand. Next is the Smithsonian Fashion Definitive History of a Costume and Style. Uh, this is kind of for the future and um, more stuff that I can do studies on. I was turned on to this by Bailey J. She has this book and I really found it interesting. Uh, the different styles and just the ability to practice the folds and fabric and things like that. So I'm going to... You'll probably see a, some of the stuff like that, but in the future, I want to create my own costumes and stuff for my characters that I'm going to be creating. So, I thought this would be a very good reference for that. Next, I got the Drawing Masterclass Perspective by Tim Fisher. I love hoarding. I'm going to say hoarding because that seems to be what I do lately. I love art books. There's usually always something in each art book put in a different way. They're just like, oh, and it finally clicks. Or it's a good way to uh, have a good vocabulary of different things and how to explain things that you already have a good understanding of, but puts it in a different way. So if someone asks you, then you have a good way to explain it because you can draw from the different information that you have. I also got uh, you can draw simple techniques for realistic drawings. The ultimate guide to color pencil. I do have Aliona's books as well but I just wanted some um, extra just general reference and maybe some different techniques that aren't in that book. I'm all about learning new techniques. So next book I got is the Realism, Ch Realism Challenge by Mark Crilly. Thought this would be a good book in reference just to play with and practice and see if he has any additional uh, tips or tricks or techniques that I haven't tried yet. So one of my goals uh, in the next couple three years is to actually start doing fantasy with dragons and fairies and things like that. It's really intriguing to me. So I have this book here, Drawing and Painting Fantasy Landscapes and Cityscapes. I thought that it would be really fun to just study and increase my vocabulary in, the, in this subject. So that way when it comes time to create my own works, I can go through and uh, take these ideas and expand upon them. Um, I may do some reviews on some of these books at a later time, but just wanted to show you some of the things that I got. Last but not least in this Christmas haul is the Faber-Castell Albright Drawer Watercolor Pencils 120 set. I am so excited to get these and try these and play with them and see what I can come up with. I definitely was not expecting to get these, but I am not going to complain. I guess that means that I need to make room up here for them. Hmm. Well, I will find a spot. I will. I hope you enjoyed this video haul. Did you get some art supplies that you're excited about? I would love to hear about them down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos, tutorials, or even art hauls. Because there will be more coming. I can guarantee you that. Until next time, keep on arting. Bye!